who draws five KOs, ladies and gentlemen, Lightning Lindsay Morgan. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the purple trunks with white trim, weighing in at 165 pounds. He's originally from Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic, but now fighting out of the Big Apple, New York City. His professional record, 20 victories with 16 KOs, only two defeats in one draw, ranked number six by the WBC, ladies and gentlemen, Mirky Machine Gun Sosa. All right, let's take a look at the rules here in New Jersey. Uh, three knockdown rule in effect. Uh, you can also just have the standing eight count. The doctor can stop the bout. Winner gets 10 points, the loser nine or less. The three judges score referee doesn't figure in the scoring. The fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Lindsay Morgan, 26 years old. He will be 26 on July 29th. He's from Youngstown, Ohio. Merky Sosa, 26 years old. Living in New York by way of the Dominican Republic. Scheduled for 10. One of the things that Eddie Mustafa Muhammad who is the new trainer of Merky Sosa, is trying to get him to do is not smother his punches. And they want him to use the natural uh, uh, reach that he has. You know, the interesting thing is, as I'm looking at this, as I stop myself in mid-sentence, Lindsey Morgan is one of the few boxers that I've seen Merky Sosa in who's just as tall mm -hmm. as him. Usually Sosa's looking, you've done a lot of Merky Sosa, but yes. you see he's facing shorter guys. Absolutely. A moment ago we saw the knockout percentage of these two men. Sosa won his first 18 fights. He was 18 and 0 when he fought James Tony for the USBA middleweight championship in January of 1991, and Tony won the 12-round decision. And the ironic thing about that, I remember when we did that, we saw that about, um, and we broadcast it. Sosa didn't look good, neither did Tony. And the, the, ironically, right after that is when Tony went on to win the middleweight championship. And you know what's interesting? I mean, especially when you think that Tony lost almost every round to none until knocking him out, then became almost a better fighter after he knocked none out. We didn't know then, I guess, that maybe Sosa's performance against the future champion wasn't so bad. Sosa has since stepped up to the super middleweight division. Lindsey Morgan, I've seen fight as a middleweight and as a super middleweight. I saw him against Lamar Parks last year. Parks won a convincing decision in their bout in Greenville, South Carolina. And then Morgan said he just, he lost too much weight for that fight. He's fighting at 165 tonight. That's his best weight probably, super middleweight. The same is true for Sosa. So we're seeing these two men at the weight that they want to be at. So Sosa doing most of the pressure. And there he is on the inside where, as you said, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad doesn't necessarily want him. Morgan has been backed up by Sosa, respecting his power. You mentioned, you mentioned Lindsay Morgan going all on the road to fight. He's been in France, Germany, England, <laughs> Australia in the last year to fight, always losing close decisions to top guys. His last fight, June 25th, was against Henry Maskey, the former Olympic champion who is now ranked number five in the light heavyweight division. And that was an eight round decision. And he lost an eight. Sosa with a good left hook to the body. Quick left hand on the inside by Sosa. Sosa applying the pressure as we come to the end of round one. Round two. Ricky Sosa and Lindsey Morgan. Morgan took the fight on Saturday. And we mean this past Saturday, <laughs> not like two Saturdays ago. See the scar tissue on Lindsey Morgan at the age of 14, 12 years ago. There's a serious fire in the Morgan home which killed Lindsey Morgan's mother, a couple of sisters, uh, and scarred him. He's come back strong, spends a lot of time visiting burn centers. He's really talking to young men, young uh, children who've been in burn incidents. Really a nice man, Lindsey Morgan. A classic example of, uh, and there you look at the uh, punches. 
in the first round. And, uh, I good percentage for Sosa. Yeah, very good percentage landed. And Morgan is not a terrible percentage, but it's not good enough to stay in good right by Morgan. See, that's why in the inside, look, good left hook. That might have stunned Sosa momentarily. He wants to be in the inside. Oh, that 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 blow was as your 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 other partner, Good Clancy, might say, way south of the border. <laughs> now, once again, Sosa smothering some of his own punches, something they're trying to get him away from doing. See, he's not as effective in there, and that's, and that's where Morgan should be. I mentioned that in the keys. Good left hand by Sosa. That's been his best punch thus far. Morgan is not a big puncher. His best work is with the jab. Sosa throwing combination. Oh, boy. Wild swing by Morgan. And then he did land the left. The left hook is there for Morgan. I mean, it really is, especially on the inside. Lindsey Morgan could land that punch on the inside. There it is, see? Even though it was partially blocked by Sosa. Sosa was aware of it that time. Double left hook by Morgan is the, is the answer for him. To the body and then the head. Sosa still with that plotting style and looking for a big right hand. And again, Sosa crowding Morgan and not giving himself any room to punch. Morgan missing. Lindsey Morgan is his accuracy level is not going to be great in this round. He has missed a lot of punches. Even though, even though he's landed his share. Left hook got in, a chopping right by Sosa. And remember, Lindsey Morgan, I don't know if we mentioned, has never been down as a pro or as an amateur. He has been stopped once. But that was when he was hurt in a fight with Andrew Maynard. And the ref stepped in. Not been off his feet. End of round two. You know, you're just walking in. Let me use the jab. Let's use the jab, sir. He's dead. He's dead. Let's use the jab. Get inside and let's go to work. He's dead. And I want that head moving, Murphy. Move the head. You're standing too straight up. All right? Crouch, bend, and jab your way in, all right? Talk to me, baby. All right? Yeah. Let's go to work. I want that jab popping. Don't walk in. Let's use the jab. Let's go to work. Right. He's nothing. Let's go to work, baby. You're the, you're the man out there. Let's go to work. All right? Okay. All right? You're okay. You look good. Keep the jab going. Keep the jab going. All right? Keep the jab. Here. Hey, hey. Keep the jab going. All right? Remember. Keep the jab going. What, Will he what, listen? What is it you think Eddie Mustafa Muhammad wants? <laughs> the jab. Yes, that's right. Will he listen? We'll Round see. three scheduled for 10. Well, there's the jab. See the second round numbers. And again, Sosa throwing a little bit more, landing a better percentage. Jab, jab, jab! Jab, there you go. There were the three jabs. Eddie, uh, he's li Eddie's listening to you. He put the jab in there a couple times. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, Murphy. It's been a long layoff, and uh, he's a little bit rusty. But, uh, you know, we're going to pick it up a little bit. The jab is going to come out, and everybody's going to see the new Murphy. So it's just like right there. See, that's helping him when he gets inside with the jab, right? That's what you want him to do. Exactly. Then walk in, right? Ex exactly. Sit down and punch to the body. We'll take this kid out. Got caught with a right hand. Eddie, did you think uh, that Murky was smothering himself in the uh, second round a little bit? Exactly. What I told him to do, we got a, a plan for that. When he smothers himself, is to dip his shoulders and just punch to the body, and it'll be all right. All right, thanks, Eddie. Anytime. The trainer of Murky Sosa, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. And in fact, you know, Sosa only threw, according to punch profile, seven jabs in the second round. So that Eddie was right in calling for more jabs. Right now, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad is one of the Hottest, if He's not the hottest trainer around. There's nobody he doesn't trade. He's training everybody. Oh, there's a good right, a good hook by Sosa. Give Sosa a lot of credit. He has listened to the words of his trainer, and he's carrying things out here in the third round. And that's why Eddie Mustafa Muhammad is training so many people and doing so well. He knew the trick to making this an easier fight for Sosa. It was the jab, jab his way in. See, he didn't do it that yeah. time. And everyone he does, he's more effective. Morgan is not putting up much resistance here. 
I, I really believe this is not the Lindsay Morgan we've seen on other occasions. I think this bout was taken on a little too short notice for him. He was in shape, but he hasn't had much sparring lately. It's all Sosa as he pounds away on Lindsay Morgan. I mean, we have to put this in perspective for people. I mean, he was in against Lamar Parks. He was in against Nigel Ben lost a very close decision to him in England, Lindsay Morgan. He was in there against Chris Chioso, who was a world champion. Lost him by majority decision on in, in France. So Lindsay Morgan is not the kind of guy to come in and just have a flat performance or, or not try. But he is just having a hard time with Sosa tonight. Well, he's coming back and trying and forcing Sosa to cover up. The crowd responds as Morgan has his best flurry. Sosa was not hurt by any of those punches, and he answers back with big left hooks. Sosa pulled the head of Morgan, and Italy will move, then hit it with the left hand. He didn't get a warning from Perez, but it helped A couple him. of big left hooks and a standing eight count being given to Lindsey Morgan. Crowd doesn't like it. Morgan takes a standing eight count. The bell will sound as soon as it's over. And that's the end of round three. A big finish for Lindsay for Merky Sosa. This is Lindsay Morgan. Yeah, I'm going. Don't get lazy in there. Yeah, boy, put me in like that. You understand me? Don't get Don't lay there. Don't lay there. Box the guy. Get back and jab. Work off your jab. Work off your jab. You hit him up against the rope. I got the basket. You understand? This is the way. How you feeling? What do I got here? Here is Murky Sosa whacking Lindsey Morgan with left hooks. This created the standing eight count, which was um, administered by Perez, feeling at that point as uh, he was against the ropes that maybe Lindsey Morgan was unable to defend himself. Lindsey Morgan set for round four. Already, I think you can look in his at his face and see how tough a fight this has been for him. Sosa in complete command right now. Big numbers for Sosa. He's Sosa doubling the numbers landed in the last round. The outpunch Morgan 31 to 10. Lands another left hook. See, they, Sosa cut the ring off nicely, but she used the jab to step in instead of that wild left hook. Have you ever seen anyone more awkward than no. Sosa in a boxing ring? It's Not amazing. At all. Uh, astonishing and, and the, the, the problem with that is sometimes when he's doing good he doesn't look good scorecard big lead for Marky Sosa nice right there by Morgan landing a couple of good punches I gave I made the last round a two-point round because of the standing acon for um, for Sosa I think that just punctuated what, what was a pretty good round for Sosa and he's all over Morgan again here Morgan Trying to turn it around. Only when Sosa backs himself against the ropes does he get in trouble. Morgan doesn't have the power to really hurt Sosa, I don't believe. I think he can, he can bother him for a while, but when Sosa turns it around, he throws some big bombs. Lindsey Morgan hurt with that right to the body. I, I have to tell you, this might be the first night in his career that Lindsey Morgan goes down. He's been hurt. And ironically, you wouldn't think Sosa would be the guy, wouldn't you? Would you? When you look at other people, he's He's boxed like like Ben and Hembrick and uh, and Maynard and you know Maskey, all these guys. I mean, that you think might put him down, but not that he has yet, or he's gonna for sure. But I get the feeling that that might happen here. Tim Morgan is a courageous guy. Oh yeah, does not lack for heart. Big right hand by Sosa. Morgan is still there. He's hurt. He is wobbling. Tony Perez is looking carefully at him. He's taking a lot of punishment. I'll tell you, taking this fight on such short notice really is taking its toll on him. <laughs> Originally, it was supposed to be Percy Harris fighting Merky Sosa. Good right hand got in by Morgan. As again, he reaches down and lands a good left hand. Sosa is covering up. A real good left by Lindsey Morgan. It would seem that that hurt Sosa, yet Sosa fighting very well off the ropes. Well, this is not the most stylish fight we've seen, but no. it's getting exciting. Give Lindsey Morgan a yes. plus for guts. Oh, yeah, he was hurt badly in this round for him to come back like that. Sosa not using the jab now. No. 
Two jabs in this round have been thrown by Murky Sosa. Morgan, a little tired, he hasn't been able to get the left hand up. He's been on the borderline a couple of times as we come to the bell ending round four. Here's where Murky Sosa really turned things around in that last round. He didn't have to turn it around, but he just totally dominated even more. The right hand, uh, and that's that's the style of Sosa. Look at how awkward and unorthodox that was, but he made it work. This is round five, scheduled for 10. These are super middleweights, Murky Sosa and Lindsey Morgan. Here's round four numbers. And even with the comeback that Morgan made, see how Sosa dominated. See, again, though, right here, he's forgetting about the jab, Sosa, after Eddie Mustafa Muhammad urged him to do it, and he did it in the third round. He's winning, but uh, could make it a little easier for himself if he was to do that. I think uh, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad will uh, have a lot to say to Murky Sosa when they get back into the gym. He's only been working with Sosa for eight weeks. And this is Sosa's first fight with Eddie Mustafa Muhammad as his trainer. Morgan walks away. He's complaining. It's either his shoulder or his collarbone. He's hurting. And Lindsey Morgan may not be able to continue here. Let's see. Dr. Dog, no, maybe it's his jaw. He may have a broken jaw. Every time you hit me, it seems like it's out. You don't want to fight anymore, or you don't want to fight anymore? Wait a second, this is huh? That's it. Marty Sosa, heavy hitter. And he has pounded Lindsey Morgan into submission here. And he must offer Mohammed with congratulations to his new pupil. And apparently, Lindsey Morgan felt like his jaw was broken. Mm. And uh, just did not want to continue, and you can't blame him. And, and you know, the thing we need to point out is this young man, you see him in pain, he is not a quitter. And so this is not something that's indicative of what he's done, no. and he must be in a bad pain if he is, if he is uh, not continuing, because we mentioned all those people he's fought, very good fighters, and uh, just uh, this man had too much for him tonight. Murky Sosa. Very okay. He steps up into the super middleweight division. Lindsey Morgan, he's a good athlete. I, I think he gives, does himself an injustice by taking so many of these fights well, on short notice. He and apparently his management do him injustice with that. Here is Sosa in the last round. Now they bang heads a little. There's the right hand though. That chopping right might have been what, uh, that right after this I think is where uh, Lindsey Morgan walks away and, and appears hurt. Oh, well, now there's the, there's the head hitting. So and even though it, it wasn't a, a, a big, strong clash of heads, it might have hit in just the right spot. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Tony Perez, acting on the advice of Chief Medical Officer Dr. Frank B. Doggett, has to call a halt to the bout at one minute and five seconds of the fifth round. The winner by technical knockout, Merky Machine Gun Sosa. Another one win for Merky Sosa. He's 21 and 2 as he steps into the top 10, it looks like, in the super middleweight division. We'll be right back. He'll be taking on Sammy Fuentes. We'll be back in Atlantic City in just a moment. We are moments.